Hi everyone, this is Dr. Cole Handy Jones here with your Handy Physical Therapy Tip of the Day. Today I'm going to talk about exercises and stretches to fix your runner's knee, specifically IT band syndrome. So let's get started. So if you're following my runner's knee series, remember to watch the one that I did just last week. This one talks about how to assess the cause or the underlying problem for your IT band syndrome. If you haven't watched it, click the link up above me um, to watch that really quickly to determine if this is more of your hip, foot or ankle, or tr a true IT band syndrome, okay? But let's get into some of these treatments and what you can do to get this better. So if you did some of the assessments that I talked about last time and you found that it was more of a foot and ankle problem, specifically, specifically coming from overpronation, I'm a big fan of the right orthotics for the right problem. Before we get too far into this, let me give you a little caveat and preface to orthotics, okay? Research right now really doesn't say that yes, orthotics are great, nor does it say yes, orthotics are bad. It kind of says if it's the right problem for the right patient, they're worth trying. It also doesn't say that custom orthotics are necessarily better than off-the-shelf orthotics, okay? You can imagine that custom orthotics can get pretty darn expensive, so I always recommend to start with off-the-shelf orthotics, okay? A brand that I've really liked, I've used with patients, and I've used for myself over the years, is called Power Step. So I've actually got a couple pairs right here. Mine are a little worn, but you can see they usually come, they're blue like this. They say Power Step. You can find these for usually around $25 to $35 on Amazon, or sometimes at different uh, sporting goods stores you can find them as well. But I've had a lot of success with power steps, and they're not too expensive, so I would try that first, okay? What the orthotic is gonna do, it's gonna take your foot that has that flat over pronation, and it's gonna just lift it up so the foot can support itself better, therefore your knee is better supported. Okay, so once again, I'm a good example of this. You can see on my left arch, it's significantly over pronated or flatter than my right arch, okay? I can even take my fingers and just feel there's very little space there versus this side, a lot of space, okay? So if I just take an orthotic and I put my foot on it, you can see, oh, now I have an arch, okay? Now I can take my fingers and get it underneath there. So that's gonna help control this foot better, which will help control my knee better. And these are pretty simple. You can just slip them in your running shoes. The first exercise that I want you to try for your butt and hip strengthener is a side plank. Now you might think a side plank is simply just a core exercise, but it's also a great strengthener of your glute medius muscle, which is one of the muscles that actually attaches into your IT band and plays a huge role in controlling your knee. Okay, so let me show you how I like to do side planks. Um, I'll give you a couple uh, variations that you can do. Okay, so I want you to lay on your side, okay? Put your arm underneath you, feet on top of each other. And I like to take my other hand and just put it on my hip. Some people put it up overhead, that's totally fine. I don't care, I like it just on the side to get out of the way, okay? Then you're gonna lift up and hold. Now, when you're lifting up, I want you to picture that you're pushing down through your feet and lifting with this hip muscle. That's gonna really turn on that glute medius muscle, okay? Your goal is to hold this for at least 30 seconds, possibly up to uh, a minute if you can, okay? If that's too much and you can't do it, what you can do is come down, bend your knees, and do the same thing, but just lift up through your knees, okay? And while you're holding this position, same thing, lift up through the hip and squeeze that muscle, okay? Same thing, I would go to the point where you can hold about 30 seconds, and then try to get to 60 seconds, and then you might go up on your feet, okay? And same thing, the, uh, the side that you're having the problem on is gonna be the side down. So for example, for me, if I was having left knee issues, left knee IT band syndrome, runner's knee issues, I would have my left side down as I do this exercise. The next exercise that I wanna show you is called a Captain Morgan. This is one of my favorites. It might be your least favorite often because it's really, really hard to do and often pretty fatiguing, okay? But I like this one because it's up on your feet and that's how you're gonna be running, right? Up on your feet, so it's more applicable usually to running, okay? So for this one, all you need is a wall to work against, okay? So I'm gonna be using this wall, okay? Same thing, your, this is good to do on both sides, but especially your affected side needs to be the side that's away from the wall. So for example, me, it's my left leg here, okay? I'm gonna take this leg and I'm gonna turn it about 45 degrees out with my toe. So I want you straight ahead, turn about 45 degrees out, okay? And you're gonna be roughly a foot or so from the wall, okay? You're gonna take your other leg and you're gonna lift it up about 45 degrees, okay? And I am gonna to try to push over the wall, okay? I'm gonna hold for about 10 seconds, okay? 
and then I'm going to relax. So the movement that I'm trying to do, if you can picture me having a wall right here, I'm trying to do this as well as I'm trying to do this. So I'm trying to push my hip through the wall, okay? When I do this movement, okay, so I'm trying to push my knee outwards as well as trying to push the wall over, okay? I really feel the burn and the squeeze right here in this button hip muscle, okay? I like to say hold this one for 10 seconds and do 10 reps. So hold, then relax, and you're gonna go back up and go again for another 10 seconds, okay? Most people love and hate this one because it's such a big burn here in the butt and hip muscles. So give that one a try. The next exercise that I wanna do is a great multifactorial exercise, meaning this one you're gonna work on movement coordination, you're gonna work on butt and hip strengthening, and you're working on balance all in one, okay? So this one is a single leg Romanian deadlift, or RDL for short. So what you're gonna do is stand on one leg, and the leg down is gonna be your affected side. So same thing, if I'm having left knee pain, my left knee is gonna, uh, my left foot's gonna be down, okay? Stand on my one foot, I'm gonna take this foot, and I'm gonna try to grab the ground with my foot to create foot stability there, okay? And create that good arch stability that we want, okay? While holding that position, I'm gonna lean straight forward, and then I'm gonna come back up. Lean down. And I'm struggling a little bit. Let me do it one more time. Down and up. So I hope what you can see is my hips are staying relatively square. What I see a lot is when people go down and they struggle with this side, button hip strengthening, they open up like this. Try to keep that down, okay? So let me show you from the side here. Grab the ground with my foot, okay? Contracting my left button hip muscles. I'm gonna lean straight down and then back up. Okay. If you're finding that you have a really hard time getting a feel for it, what I usually tell people to do is if you can grab uh, a longer cylinder type thing, so you could use something like um, the longer wrapping paper that you use to wrap presents, you could use a golf club, you could use a broom, something like that. If you just put it on your opposite foot and then go like this, it helps clean up a lot of form type things. So you can try that if you're having a hard time kind of getting a feel for it, um, and it might help out a little bit. I would do two rounds of 20 reps morning and evening if you can. The last thing that I want to show you is a glute medius uh, circuit that I like to use. So for this one, all that you need is a round, uh, sometimes they call these booty bands, uh, hip circles, anything like that that you have. Okay, so I'm going to use this. If you don't have one of those, that's okay. You can buy off, off Amazon for really cheap. You can find a lot of sporting goods stores. There's a lot of really good deals nowadays. So you're going to take this and you're going to put it above your knees. Okay. And what we're gonna do is three separate exercises each side for 20 reps each. Okay, so while sitting like this, same thing, I'm gonna have foot stability, so I'm gonna grab the ground with my feet, okay? I'm gonna actually push out against the band, and I'm gonna do kind of a, a half squat here, okay? While holding this position, I'm gonna let one knee fall in, and then come back out. Fall in and out. I'm gonna do 20 reps on this side. Then I'm gonna go to the other side, and I'm gonna do 20 reps, okay? Once you're finished with those two, you can stand up, take a mini break, just five or 10 seconds, go right back down, and I'm gonna take one leg, and I'm gonna go back at a kind of a 45 degree angle. So I think I'm gonna do 20 reps on one side, I'm gonna go the other side and do 20 reps, okay? This should be a burner, okay? Same thing, when you're finished with those 20 each side, stand up, take a mini break, just five to 10 seconds, and then the last thing you're gonna do is a lateral walk, what I call it. So for this one, you're gonna to turn to the side, actively push out against the band, and you're gonna do mini inch steps, okay? Keeping your feet and knees nice and wide. You're gonna do 20 reps one way, and you're gonna come back 20 reps the other way, okay? With all these activities, make sure you're keeping your feet and knees nice and wide. I usually say, picture that you're a cowboy on a horse, and you have to keep your knees nice and spread out the whole time, okay? I hope you learned something new and of value today. Give these all a try. Remember, this takes time and consistency. To get muscles stronger, it doesn't happen with one or two exercise sessions. It takes consistency. So give these a try and let me know what you think. If you found something of value, hit the thumbs up button and please subscribe. I put out weekly videos around all different topics, especially helping runners like you. Look forward to my next video where I'm gonna talk about what to be foam rolling for IT band syndrome. And let me give you a hint, it's not the IT band.